Oh god, this isn't horrifying at all. This is not horrifying. Go! 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 How's it going, guys? Dre here, and welcome back to Mechanic Miner, ladies and gentlemen. Today, we're going to be taking on the worm. Now, this one... Uh, it's pretty much making me think I should probably do a totally new build since this thing doesn't really make sense anymore. I mean, this is basically a jacks of all trade, but for what we want right now, I just want a damage dealer with lots of defense. Now, I've also built myself a wonderful little home over here. And the main reason I did this was to have some storage because, uh, yeah, if we do die behind the worm, obviously that worm moves. We won't be able to get our loot back. So just in case that happens, I want to have some loot here where we can store it. I also have a wonderful sofa and a pooper, of course, because everybody needs those two items. So, uh, yeah, I don't know really what I'm going to build today. We'll go into it and we'll see what I feel like. So we're going to start taking down this craft and uh, utilizing some of these resources to build something else. Because, uh, yeah, well, actually, you know what? Let's just start building something else. And when if we need the resources, we have that over there to do so. Because we have quite a few resources right now. Uh, if we go back into my uh, crumbled up vehicle here, we should have, yes, we should have everything else that we need inside here. Oh, you can split the items. I didn't know that. That's really cool. Uh, I really wish you could move these things, but I don't think you can. And if you destroy them, I think you lose all the items. So we want to make sure that we're not doing that. Uh, let's get the base resources for right now because that's all we need. And it looks like I have every single one except for the protein, but we do not need protein right now because we're not healing ourselves. All right, so what I think I'm gonna do is kind of like a pyramid. I'm feeling like a pyramid would be a good strategy. I'm just gonna put some storage in here because uh, I don't have enough inventory space. I wish you could upgrade your inventory or something like that. Maybe you can in the future, I don't know. I'm gonna need almost all these items, so we're doing one thing at a time here. First of all, we obviously need some planks to build a baseline. All right, let's just start off by building a little pyramid, and I'm going to uh, dissect this and change some things later, because I got some good ideas here. Uh, I guess we'll start from the other side here and do the same thing, so it looks like we did that. Oh, it's going to be hard to build in the darkness. That's one thing I need on my house is a damn light, but uh, yeah, we'll do that later. I'm not too worried about a light right now. We can see fine enough, and uh, we should be good. So, do we want to go any higher than that? I don't want to go too crazy, but... I also want this to look... Okay, yeah, you know what? That should be good. And bam! Look at that. It's a pyramid. I just realized I, uh... I built myself inside this. I don't... <laughs> I have no way to... Oh, God! I have no way to get out. Okay, I'm not actually really feeling the pyramid. Now that I look at it, it's gonna be hard to really set up something well. Okay, so what we're gonna do... This is going to be my bottom frame. Uh, we're gonna do something like a pyramid, but I want enough space on the pyramid for weapons, so uh, you'll see what I'm, I'm referring to once we get into this here. Uh, but yeah, I just wanted to do the baseline here. I think this is more than a big enough base, so we should be good. And then obviously these are attach points for wheels. So what we're gonna do now is start building our weapons. Now we don't need water right away, at least for the building aspect, so we're just gonna get rid of that. Again, I need more space. I wish I had more space. I guess I could build a storage thing on here right now, but I don't really know how I'm gonna lay this out. So uh, the main thing I want is some weapons right now. So we got, uh, we can probably only do one at a time with these. I don't think they stack. So what we're gonna do is put that one there like that. Oh, I love that it weighs it down too. And then we can wrap around it. I wanna make sure my, my weapons are a lot safer this time uh, so you'll see as we go what we're gonna be doing here so uh, we'll do one more here for the other side we're gonna have weapons everywhere and there we go it should be nice and even and I'm gonna stick with the crossbows I really like them or the ballista rather but they seem to be really good for me so uh, we're gonna go as high as that and again we're gonna keep this inside here this is uh this is what I want to make sure. I want to make sure my weapons are okay, because with my original design, I didn't realize that uh, you could shoot weapons from the inside. Okay, we need to go up one more, and then basically we're just going to have that and go up and up and up, and we'll have a pyramid of crossbows, and then in the middle, we have our working space. All right, and here is the base design done. So uh, you get the idea now. I just want to make sure my weapons are okay. We're definitely going to put some armor in front of them as well. And uh, I think five should definitely be enough. Now we have a ladder going all the way through our system as well. Uh, if we do want to add anything else. Now there's no way to actually get in or out. And I think I'm going to keep it that way. Because you can actually, well, I guess, no, now that I think about it, I'm not going to be able to get out of this damn thing unless I build a door. That being said, I'm just going to build one in the back 
here and, uh, yeah, call it a day because, uh, there's no real good spot for a door on a vehicle. It just, it just feels weird to have, like, a wooden door on a vehicle. But there we go. Now at least I can get in and out. And if we need more firepower, the great thing is I already have, uh, the outside slots ready to put in literally double the amount of weapons. So I just wanna kinda grasp how hard this guy's gonna be, and, uh, we'll judge it from there. But obviously we gotta get to wheels now, and I think I'm gonna do the iron wheels. I don't like losing wheels. And looking at our iron anyways, we got lots, so we're gonna build four of those bad boys. I wonder why it only allows me to build four. Did it take all my iron? No, okay, we're at 86. Not really sure why the max was four, but hey, that's fine. This should actually work really, really well, though. We got uh, a lot of wheels on this thing, and so we shouldn't... Oh, God, don't hit my house. We shouldn't run into issues in terms of getting stuck, but... Oh, no, don't... Don't, no, you... You can't do that! This is not... I am not a hamster! Are you serious? So I either gotta make this thing even taller, which I don't want to do, or... Uh, make the middle wheels smaller. Because, yeah, I know there's going to be issues when I'm running around, and actually, it only happens when the wheel's off the ground, so I don't know if it's going to be that big of an issue, but it really is annoying <laughs> when you can't get through your craft because you're running on a damn wheel. So with that in mind, we're just going to use the middle wheels uh, to get over things. So uh, as long as we're not dragging with wood, we should be totally fine, and that's a much better wheel anyways. So I actually like that more. Now I don't have to worry about those getting in my way. All right, let's move on to armor. I want to see... I can do 60. I mean, I can do a lot of armor here. So we're going to do 80 armor for right now. Uh, and obviously, I'm just going to layer this thing in armor. Uh, more specifically, the front of this thing. We'll do a small layer in the back, a bigger layer in the front, because I know where the worm's coming from. We have that benefit, so why waste uh, some armor? Okay, so let's go down there, and yeah, we're just going to literally layer this thing. Oh, this should be great. I don't see this thing running into too many issues. Uh, I, I, I don't, I don't want to jump to conclusions here, but we have no weak zones on the outsides of our craft. I guess technically the back by the door would be the only major one. Uh, but that's really good, because I, last time we had lots and lots of wood, and that's when issues happen. So we're just going to make this a little bit thicker now, in the front at least. Now, how much do I want? I don't want to go too crazy with the armor, but at least I should probably finish up this two-row. So we'll do it just like that, and I think that should be okay for right now. We still have two blocks. We're just going to get rid of those, and uh, we'll get some more later if we feel like we need it. But obviously, we have a lot more to make, so I have to make sure I have enough resources as well. All right, and here it is after a little bit of work. So, uh, yeah, it's definitely not pretty once again. I'm not very good at making pretty things, but it should work... Uh, in terms of being very, very defensive. Now, the one thing we haven't checked out yet is the thing we got in the last episode, which is... Is it not an engines? That's gotta be a machinery. Yes, we got the flux capacitor here. Now, I'm assuming we're gonna need to use this now, so we may as well build it. And I think it works similar to, uh, the air vent we had before. Except this one, because I've read this, it says, can be used to dissipate flux barriers. So I think it's kind of just like the air vent, except obviously some higher tech. So we'll try it out, and we'll just throw it in here so we have it if we do indeed need it. Now, this thing needs to have some sword flux inside. There we go, we still have lots of sword flux left. And I'm not sure if we need... We probably need two vents, so do I want to throw one kind of inside? I think I'll throw some inside the iron here, so we're going to kind of put a little hole here and then we should be able to stick that guy in there and oh there we go it's already automated so okay so I don't want to actually do that oh it's actually wasting it um so should I not do this unless I absolutely need to yeah because this thing's definitely wasting it so let's just bring enough materials with us to build that because I didn't expect it to work that way I thought we had to attach it to the engine like we did before and all that good stuff but I guess not I really don't know how to work it just yet though but all we need is iron and stored flux we have a little bit of that so we'll keep that with us let's actually keep some of the flux away as well uh, but yeah, I think we're pretty much ready. We don't have everything in this build, but it's all about damage and defense right now, and we got a lot of that. So we're gonna shift-click, we'll grab 30 of these, we'll keep 30 in there. We actually got a lot of materials, so I'm not too worried about dying, because at least when we come back, we still have our house here. Uh, and then we'll shift-click and just take half of that as well. And how did I get half of a rock? I don't know. It's, it's, it's literally half of- how, how did you- how does it even work? 
Okay, just getting used to the engines here. This thing, I mean, it feels pretty good, but with this high-powered, I don't like the high-powered engine. It's just, it's got, it's got, it feels very weird. Like, half the time it's really fast, the other time it doesn't even work. We'll give it a chance, though, and we'll see how good it is. So, I hope I can even fit down here. I didn't think about that, but yeah, we are good enough. And... This is when I'm scared, because I have no idea how to defeat this guy. I have no idea to, what to expect down here, aside from a big ugly worm that we've already saw. So hopefully, we can- oh god, don't- don't flip it. There we go, keep it on the ground. Last thing I want to do is flip it, and then get eaten by a worm. Okay, where are you, you bastard? I knew- I know he was kind of close to here, so I'm actually lagging. Oh, and there he is, obviously. So- now, yeah, well, I have to hit him when it, when it opens. That's when I have to do the damage. And it's actually... Pull back! I can't! It's My engine's not working. It, like, the, the worm... I think it can suck me in is what it's doing. Uh, okay, there we go. Come on, open it up. Open it up. Shoot him. Oh, it's, it's when it's purple. It's when it's purple. Okay, so at least I know now. And it looks like... Oh, God. Aside from him just being absolutely horrifying... I keep forgetting it's purple. There we go. Uh, yeah, it looks like we can only get hit once, and we're actually getting hit by the roof as well. I'm trying to pull back, guys. It's just, it's not worth, you can see. Oh, what is that? Okay, let's just, oh, it, it shoots at you. Okay, well, I'm gonna slowly go down again, and I'm trying to back up. Just back the frig up. Oh, God, here we go again. Yeah, he's, oh, he's going to attack me. That's what he's doing. All right, come on, open that beautiful mouth of yours. Come on, buddy. I really don't have too much tunnel left, I feel like. And I'm just kind of waiting here. Okay, so there we go. And purple. Perfect. Okay, I got it. I definitely feel like I need more firepower, though. I <laughs> Even with five, that's definitely... Oh, God. That is definitely not enough. And there we go again. So that's all... The only time I can attack him is during that. I I, I need to get out of here. Uh, press F to go up. I have no choice. He's there. So we saw it. I, I It went well, actually. And I think I know what I got to do here, which is obviously, like I said before... Add some more weapons to the top of this. Doesn't matter if they die, as long as we can do a few shots with them, we should be good. So we're just gonna repair this a little bit. We did get a little bit of damage, but man, did that armor ever work well. So that feels really, really good. And I think we'll, what we'll do is keep a lot of the armor on, and we'll just kind of pull out like a little area where they can sit. Kind of like that. All right, and I call it the Pyramid of Death. I mean, check out this thing. I think I got a little bit carried away here. Uh, but you know what? We need firepower, and, uh, firepower we indeed got. Oh, I did something wrong here. Oh, I didn't connect these things together. Okay, so we should... We have wiring. Yes, we do. Last thing I want is to lose two crossbows, or ballistas. I always call them damn crossbows. Uh, yeah, but that is... How many do we even got? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I have ten total weapons on this. I also added some rail guns to the roof. My logic is these things are basically automatic, so if that thing turns purple and he opens his mouth, uh, that might actually do a lot of damage. So... We should. Oh, God damn it! I keep pressing the wrong thing. Uh, but yeah, we should be good to go now. And uh, this time, I think we have enough firepower to take this beast down. At least I hope so, man. This was rough to make, and I probably should save it. Let's actually do that real quick. All right, and there we go. We have saved our machine. I love that. You just press one button and then click on it, and it's like, oh, I know exactly what you mean. Uh oh, I forgot my vehicle. That's kind of important. Okay, are we good now? Everything seems intact. We are all reloaded. Everything's filled. Uh, I got a little bit of resources as well if I do need to refill those, but I don't think I will. All right, here we go. Taking on the Tunnel Dweller. Ooh, laggy is very laggy at the start, as you can see. Hopefully, we don't see that when we're actually fighting the guy. All right, foul beast, where ye be? Because I'm coming here to take you. Oh, God. Oh, no, this is the worst time. Okay, 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 okay. There we go. We are straightened. We are ready to go. Just gotta open that beautiful mouth of yours. Come on, open her up. There you go. Yep, do your thing. Oh, he's gonna do this little attack. Pull him back. Oh my god. No! Okay, I, I, I gotta get out and repair. I, I really screwed that one up. So now we know how bad that attack is. My car is just not reacting very well with me. Well, we didn't even get a damn shot off and my half my thing's gone, man. That... That really screwed me up. Like, look at my back. It's, it's all... How did my back get affected? Like, there used to be wood here. All right, please ignore the loot volcano. I ext extracted too much from my uh, crate, I guess. But now we should have enough to build our blueprint again. So, uh, inventory is full. Of course it's full. 
Uh, so what will I not need? The flux I will not need. So let's go. Uh, <laughs> this is. I didn't realize how many items I got. Oh my god, I have to pick up all of this later. I hope I don't crash the game with this, but uh, let's try that again. There we go. So I'm building it inside my uh, hot bar here, and this is why this game's so great, because you can do the blueprint and... Oh god, don't lose that. That's important. It's not It's not working. Uh-oh. Uh, what do I do? Okay, I'm going to have to pick up some of this stuff, I think. I, I am just lagging. Oh god, what... What is going on? I think I did a really good job at breaking the game, guys. So can I, can I just, oh, what am I doing? Is this even, what, am, oh, what? Where did it go? Oh God, did I, I'm so, con what the hell? I don't even know what this is. I don't even know what I'm doing, but I think I'm picking up, yes, it's working. Wh whatever this is, I'm not pressing any different buttons or anything. This is amazing. So I can pick up a group of them and then pick it up. Uh, I thought I lost, like, all my loot there. I think we're okay, guys. All right, now we should be good, though. Let's get back down there, and, uh, I'm gonna take my time this time, because we know how damaging his little, uh, boost attack can be, and how quickly this thing can flip over. It does like to, uh, yeah, stand on its front wheel, as you can see. I don't know why it's so heavy. It shouldn't do that. It's probably because I, I hate it when I have all my wheels attached to the engine. Uh, this game works way better when there's one wheel attached to it, at least in my opinion. So we might have to move back over to that. But I just want to fight this guy. That's all I want to do, man. Oh, God. I'm bouncing right into him. I'm bouncing right into him. I didn't want to do that. Pull back. Pull back. I'm so scared of that now. Okay, so we're good. We're good. Now you just got to creep up. And I'm good. I'm stable now, kind of. I'm still bouncing around like crazy, as you can see, and... Come on, do your little stupid thing. Do your... Don't do it! You gotta open your mouth so I can attack you, you little jerk. Come on. Come on. I am having such a hard time backing up here. Oh, God. Okay, okay. He's doing it again! Wait, am I supposed to hit that? Okay, I, I can actually hit that. Oh, my God! Are you serious? Oh, I'm screwed. I'm, I'm gonna try and fight it, though, because obviously I can't really do much else. All right, here. You know what? Let's actually try and get this thing back on its wheels, and... Oh, God. This isn't horrifying at all. This is not horrifying. Go! 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 Okay, we're back. Dude, I don't know what I'm gonna do here, because I... Okay, at least I know now when he, when he turns red, I can actually hit him, but I am running out of resources now, guys. This is... I'm gonna have to give it one more shot, and we'll see how we can do. I feel like I have more than enough firepower, but clearly we did better last time. All right, we're back. Now, what I did, I took the drive off all the wheels aside from the back wheel. I know a lot of people say don't do that. Uh, I disagree. I think it's a better idea. Uh, technically, in real world, obviously, all-wheel drive would be better. But in this game, it likes to, like, make you really bouncy and stuff. So, uh, I think this is our best chance with this current build. I don't know what else to do with this. I'm gonna let this load. Let's just sit here for a second, because, uh, I am having a lot of lag down here, man. All right, so here we go. Coming in for the third try. This, I, I just want to get a good chance, you know? And I'm going to give this one a good chance. So, uh, yeah, we're going to fight probably till the death here unless very bad things happen at the start then, obviously. I, I run the risk of losing all my resources. That's the great thing about this game is there's real risk. These resources are hard to get, and uh, you don't want to lose them. So sometimes you play a little bit too safe. But, oh, I'm pulling back. Come on, get him, get him. There we go, get him. And come on, hit him. Okay. Oh, why is it so bouncy? It is just so freaking bouncy. There we go, there we go. Okay, stay nice and back. And, okay. Oh, I shouldn't have did that. Come on, there we go. My top things aren't even working. They're not even spinning, as you can see. So this isn't good. This, I, I feel like I'm doing less damage now with way more weapons on it. I'm so confused. Okay. Oh, 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 come on. Yeah, you know what? I feel like I have to stay nice and close, because then he attacks me when I'm nice and close. But at the same time, obviously... Oh! Damn it! And here we are. Okay, so... I'm going to give it a shot here. I'm going to move up. I mean, there's not much left in my craft anyways. And I'm trying to pull back! Okay, the wheel thing really didn't work too well. I'm still having issues. And come on, baby. Come on. This guy is ridiculous. Like, look at this. Okay, I mean, it'd actually be easy here. There we go, there we go. Come on. Keep hitting him. No! Jesus! 
Um, E to use, E to use. Okay, you, trying to get back. I don't even got, I don't got my thing anymore. Okay, so all I got is one weapon. Yeah, there's no way I'm gonna be able to do anything. Yeah, I can hit you with one. Okay, you know what? I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna try and get out of here. It is not working very well. Excuse me, excuse me. You know what? I'm just gonna grab some of my craft while I'm here. There we go. Uh, is, uh, am I gonna die? What, 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 what are we doing in this situation? Oh god, yeah, I'm so dead. I am so dead! Damn it! All right, guys. Well, that pretty much dwindled me of all my resources. As you can see, I had to use my house uh, to build that last one. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to have to go back to gathering and, uh, unfortunately, get back to the drawing board, I think, because I did not stand a chance. The Worm Man is way harder than I thought he'd be. I had a lot of fun building today, though. I learned a lot, uh, most specifically, that... Uh, amount of weapons don't seem to really affect too much at least from what i saw there so yeah unfortunately the worm wins in this battle but the war is not over we're gonna give it another shot here if you guys have any suggestions on what i could do to be better uh, obviously the saws might work as well but i don't really want to get too close to the worm we also have bombs uh something else i didn't do that might actually be the answer where's weapons here because we have this bomb and I feel like if we could throw it in his mouth, that'd be good, but we have to attach it to ourselves as well. We can't projectile it, so... Yeah, I don't really know where to go from here. If you guys have any suggestions, let me know in the comments below. But yeah, this is gonna wrap it up for this episode of Mechanic Miner. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. I'm sorry we didn't slay the foul beast, but uh, I think this is the final boss, so it's not really meant to be easy either. So as always, thanks for watching and liking, guys, and I'll see you in the next one.